Chef Buck here, and today we're gonna try a kitchen gadget, the Dash Rapid Egg Cooker. Camera Girl and I are staying at an Airbnb. I found this in the closet, which is the Dash <laughs> Rapid Egg Cooker. <laughs> and I pulled this out of the closet and I thought, this thing looks so stupid, I'm gonna make a video <gasps> about it. What? As a kid, I got in trouble for saying that word. The S word? When I was a kid, the S word was a different word. I don't think this thing has been used. It wasn't in a box or anything, but it's got the paper in here, like the paper's in this cup. It's got the instruction book. Yeah, so, what's the objective? What do you mean, what's the objective? It's a rapid egg cooker. Oh, okay. Cooks, cooks right. eggs. Oh, okay. But anyway, because I'm older, because I'm mature, I'm going Let's to... Let's just say you're older. Yeah, I'm going to take the time and read this book. When light turns off, the eggs will be poached. You know, looking at the instructions, it doesn't seem overly rapid. I mean, it just seems like you're steaming eggs. Eggs, I mean, you can cook an egg on a hot sidewalk. You can cook, you can look at an egg hard and it will cook. This is kind of a plasticky body. It actually feels kind of sturdy. Uh, it's got this little doohickey here with egg shapes that you put your eggs in. It's got this, I guess a handle that goes on here. Boom, boom, boom. I don't know if we'll use that. Uh, you can poach your eggs. And then you can use this here to make omelets. It's got this little cup for measuring your water. Hard, medium, medium soft. So you will fill up this cup with the amount of water. Like if we only fill it that far, that'll be just enough water to steam them softly. If you put this much water in there, then it'll be enough water to steam them to a hard boil. Because we're going to be in this Airbnb for a while, so I'll boil up a bunch of eggs and then we'll have them for salads and whatnot. Don't you want the handle in there so that you can pull it out once it's finished steaming? Yeah, I guess, but I mean, I'm going to uh, take the eggs out and put them in a cold bath after it finishes boiling. Because that way it'll make it easier to peel. Or at least that's how I've always done it. And I don't know why the rules of science would apply any differently. I'll put the handle on here, but I'm not sure if we're going to use it. So then it becomes like an egg... Lifter. Carousel. Air lifter. Egg lifter. So we'll give it a try. All right, so I'm going to take my base over here and put it on the kitchen counter. And I'm going to fill up my little water container to the hard line. So we just want to use that much water. So now we've got it filled up. Boom, and we'll pour it in our base. That should be enough water to steam our eggs. Put our little doohickey in here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and that fits over the handle. Now we gotta put our eggs in here, but we need to punch a hole in them first. Huh? On the bottom of this here is a little pin, <gasps> oh. a little needle. And so we want to pierce, you know, like you have a narrow end of the egg and then you have a fatter round end. We want to pierce a hole in the top of the fat round end. I can do this without breaking it. Boop. So it'll make a little hole, and then that way it won't explode, I guess, while it's steaming. So we want to do that to each of our eggs. I guess reading the manual helped. I wouldn't have done that if I hadn't read the manual, for sure. <laughs> this is pretty easy to do. You just have to believe in yourself. Whatever. And so you want to put it with the little hole end, with the little pierced end up. And the smaller round end on the bottom. See, I cracked this one a little bit. Putting the hole in there. We'll see how that works. Uh -huh. Alrighty, so we got our tray all filled up. So I'll go ahead and throw my dome on here. Boom, plug it in. Oops, it's already on. We'll see what happens. I guess we sit around here and wait. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Alright, I got a stopwatch set. So it's already been going for almost a minute. So we'll see how long it takes until these eggs are ready. Beep, 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 beep. All right, boom. It has been 16 minutes, almost 17 minutes, and the light has gone off. So they should be ready. Oops. This here one's cracked. I wondered if that's the one that I had the little hole in. But we're in an Airbnb, and I just checked the freezer, and there's no ice cubes in there. So I just got a big pot of cold water. And hopefully that'll cool them down and make them a little easier to peel. And we'll just leave these for later. See, all the water has evaporated, really. But anyway, we'll use this here as a base. Oh, you want to use all the attachments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to we're gonna try it. We're going to do everything you're supposed to do. Okay, so now you're supposed to be able to do an omelet. I mean, how are you going to do an omelet? I mean, this is just a little plastic doohickey. Are you 
time you're just gonna put in a scrambled egg. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna mix up an egg and put some stuff in there and we'll call it an omelet, I guess. But it says to spray this, so we'll go ahead and spray it. So we got our little tray sprayed up. Now for an omelet, we want to fill our our little doohickey up to the medium line. And I'm gonna make a two egg omelet. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt in here, a little bit of pepper. So I got some little leftover bacon that I'm gonna throw in here. I got some raw green onion. That'll be a nice flavor. Then I got some uh, cheese. Just sliced it thinly. Boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in my doohickey over here. Let me do it over the sink so I don't make too big a mess. Alrighty, that looks like some potentially omelette goodness. I'll take my medium amount of water, pour it in there, cover it up with our dome, and we'll hit the button. And our light came on. Well, let's see how long it takes uh, to steam up a medium amount of water. Set your timer, sir. Beep, 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 beep. We'll go ahead and get it out of here. Take a look at it. <laughs> look at Let that. Me get out of here. See how you like the look of this? I mean, well, we could have done this in a skillet quicker than that. Skillet takes up more room than this little guy in a stove. Well, that's true. Wow! So that's a pretty well-formed omelet thingamabob. Looks sort of like a frittata. That was pretty easy peasy. So what else do we want to do? We got one more doohickey here, which is the, uh, <laughs> the, the poached egg okay. thing. So let's try that. Here, come over here. So we want to we fill this up to medium, just like we did for the omelet. Because the amount of water that you use determines the cooking time. For the hard-boiled egg, we put more water in here. So it takes longer for the water to steam off. And as soon as the water steams off, the machine turns off. So the amount of water determines the cooking time. Just like we did with the omelet tray, we're going to spray this here with a little bit of oil. And we'll just crack a couple of eggs, one on each side. Boop. And we'll add a medium amount of water. Throw our eggs on top of here. Boom. The itsy bitsy teeny tiny dome. We'll hit the power button. We'll see how long it takes it to poach these eggs. Poach, Alrighty. poach, poach. Well here, while poach, that's going poach. on, let's go ahead and peel one of these eggs and see what it looks like. So I'll give it a crack, and then we'll just peel it in the water here, because eggs are easier to peel in the water. So it's called a rapid egg doohickey, but it's not really all that rapid. Let's take a look at it. But I mean, it made a perfect egg, and the shell came off very easily. Boom, 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 and it's a nice, beautiful yeah. yellow yolk. That's the thing, when you're boiling an egg, you just want to make sure it's not green around the edges. That means it's overcooked, so it'll get a sulfury taste. So we've got like uh, five of these eggs left, and we'll have these for making some egg salad or putting in a salad or something. You want this half camera girl? Yeah. She's the queen of salt, so I'll put a little salt on hers. You're so nice. Oops. I burned myself on that steamer. There's a little hole over here where the steam comes out. <laughs> Watch out for this uh, steam hole. And don't point with it. Yeah, don't point at your steam hole. <laughs> All right, here you go. I think I lost knocked some of your salt out of there. You can see these uh, eggs are poaching away, steaming away. Keep an eye on the light and see when the light goes off. Beep, 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 beep. Be careful with the steam. I'll go ahead and unplug it. So they seem kind of wet, but that's okay. Eggs, poached eggs are kind of wet. Let's see how they slide out of here. Boom! Well, come on over here, camera girl. I want to have some breakfast. Let's try these out. So I'll go ahead and give you what looks like the least poached one. Aww. Boom, boom, boom. And I'll take this other one over here. Oh, it actually doesn't look too bad on the bottom. The yolk is still kind of runny. In fact, I'll pierce it. Boom, boom, boom. So yeah, it's a very runny yolk. Here's our little omelet we made. Looks pretty good. It tastes really good because I put salt and pepper in there. We got another boiled egg. So that's the three ways that you can use this uh, rapid egg thing. So you can poach an egg, you can uh, make an egg scramble omelet type thing, or you can make a hard boiled egg. And it's very easy to use. Do I give it a thumbs up? I guess. Fun for the kids. Yeah. As long as they don't put their fingers over the... Over the steam hole. Yeah. When I was looking at the one on Amazon, it said it had an alarm on it that went off. This one I'm using doesn't have an alarm, so maybe it's an older model. But if you want to check it out, you can check it out down below. 
you know, it worked fine. If you're on an all egg diet and you don't want to cook anything else, if you never want to cook anything but an egg, it's perfect for cooking an egg. This is a rapid egg cooker right over here. If you want a rapid egg cooker, there you go. You know, this is an egg steamer. But anyway, it's an interesting conversation piece. It certainly made this morning go by pretty quick. Beer does that too. Until it slows things down. Time for your nap? Yeah, probably. Well, thanks for watching our videos. You know, thanks for subscribing, checking things out. We really appreciate it. There's some links down below if you want to check them out. And uh, we'll see you in the future. Bye-bye.